In this video, I'll be talking about talent development. What is talent? Talent is evaluated today with a view of tomorrow, but is based on things that happened yesterday. Ross Tucker. This shows that we identify talent on the past to judge their overall ability in the present, with a view of seeing if they can be good in the future. This shows that if somebody doesn't think you have the ability today, you can still have a future in your sport. A good example of this will be Jamie Vardy. He was released by Sheffield Wednesday in 2003 before going to a non-league club, Stocksbridge Park in 2007. After spending three years there, he joined Halifax Town, who are another non-league club slightly higher up the football pyramid. After scoring 26 goals in 37 games, he got a move to Fleetwood Town, who at the time were in the Conference Premier. In his only season here, he scored 31 goals in 36 games as they won the league and winning the team's player of the Player of the Year award. In May 2012, he got a move to Leicester City for a fee of £1 million, which was a record transfer fee for a non-league player. Since joining Leicester, he has won the Championship, won the Premier League, played for his country, England, scoring seven times in the process, broke the record for scoring in consecutive Premier League games, which he scored in 11, and, and won the Premier League Golden Boot, which is given for scoring the most goals in the league. This shows that athletes shouldn't be judged on their current ability as they can still improve and turn out into, into one of the best. Are we born with talent? The definition of natural talent is an innate or inborn gift for a specific activity, either allowing one to demonstrate some in immediate skill without practice or to gain skill rapidly with minimal practice. This would suggest that you can be born with a form of talent, but you need to you need the training and time to develop the talent further into ability. An example of this would be Lionel Messi. He is a footballer for Barcelona and arguably the best ever. He has won six Ballon d'Ors, which is more than anybody else, which is given to the best player in the world. There is a common argument that Messi was born with natural footballing ability because some of the things he does on a football pitch can't be taught. In my opinion, you can't be born with a natural talent. It is gained through practice of sport you do. A theory to back this up is sport-specific training. Experts accumulated more hours of sport-specific practice from the age of 12 years onwards than did non-experts. Spending on average some 13 years and 4,000 hours on concentrated sport-specific practice before reaching international standard. This shows that you need lots of sport-specific training to be at the highest standard possible, which is international standard. So even if you are born with natural talent, it won't get you very far without the hard work and graft you need to put in to turn the talent into ability. How do you develop talent? Looking back at the videos I have already done, there are different ways of developing the talent depending on certain things such as biological factors, psychological factors, social factors and specialisation. If an athlete wants to develop their talent, they'll have to use each of these and not just focus on one. For example, Lionel Messi is from Argentina in South America, which is widely known for producing talented footballers and Messi is no exception. This comes under biological factors as it is where he was born. For psychological factors, Messi is one of the best players at handling pressure. When his team needs him to step up in big games, he very often does. Over those years, Messi has played in a total of 35 finals, with a total of 24 won and only 11 lost. And across all those finals, the Argentinian star has played a key role, scoring 31 goals. The 11 defeats are shared between club and country, with Barcelona's he's lost 7 times, with Argentina he's picked up 4 from his up medals. The fact he has scored 31 goals in finals shows he can handle the pressure of the biggest and most important games. For social factors, I would say that his parents sacrificed a lot so he could pursue his dream. Messi's parents, Jorge and Cecilia, decided on a regime of nightly growth hormone injections for their son, though it soon provided impossible to pay several hundred dollars.